Starting in July, Indonesia and Philippines governments unilaterally declared that domestic workers' wages would be raised. Originally, Taiwan set a wage of 15,840 NT$. This has been raised to $17,500. If Taiwan employer does not accept the change, then they cannot recruit labor from those two countries. The Ministry of Labor said it had sent a letter to Indonesia and the Philippines to negotiate. But the rise is probably inevitable. Indonesian domestic worker Tati has worked in Taiwan for nine years. Tati was happy to hear the news of the basic salary rise by the Indonesian government. Indonesia and the Philippines governments unilaterally announced the rise to start from July for domestic workers. The original wage of 15,840 NT will rise to 17,500 NT As the rise is sudden, some foreign labor broker companies are scrambling to keep up. Agencies said quite bluntly the government's response is too slow. News about the rise was out last month, and when they asked for clarification, they were told there was no further news. Now it is a fait accompli. Some employers responded that the burden was too heavy and will postpone hiring. Some foreign workers also protested that they had signed contracts with lower wages before the end of June. The Ministry of Labor has sent an official letter to the Philippines and Indonesia, requesting consultations with the Taiwan representative offices. The Ministry of Labor said that the wage rises for Philippines and Indonesian domestic workers is probably inevitable, but because Indonesian domestic workers make up 85 percent of domestic workers in Taiwan, it would have a large impact. It is considering reopening domestic work to the Vietnamese to diversify the domestic worker labor market.